hey there how was doing this is kali from tech fans here so in this video we are going to see that how to install gcam and asus zenfone light l1 in android by gss also this method work in asus stock os as well i haven't checked it in stock but if you want to try just take a backup and try to do it as you know the default camera is not better and efficient to take quality pictures in custom rom or in gsi so by installing gcam will make some noticeable difference in the quality the default camera on asus and phone light alone is really good but it's not working in gsi so here we are we require two files to install gcam on our mobile first step is enabling the camera to api the gcam works only after enabling the camera to api so in earlier the procedure is editing the build dot prop using some editor apps but now it's easy download the camera to api enabler patch from the link in the description of this video and the second requirement is the gcam apk in this video we are using google camera 5.2.0 to 5 final build and this one is the color fixed version so that's about the pre requirement first we need to boot our device to recovery Once it is booted, install the patch. It's done. Then reboot your device to system. Once it is rebooted, navigate to the folder and install the Gcam APK. you see it's working but it captures the picture in black and white so for that turn off the hdr plus and take one picture now you can see the picture captured is in color now you can again turn on the hdr plus and take the photos it is working fine but the hdr plus pro is not working so you can use hdr and hdr plus alone there are three issues i noticed in this gcam the first one is slow motion it is totally not working and the second one is this video recording the video recording not working in both front and back so yeah and third and final one is there is no night sight option this is not the problem but this latest gcams having the night sight option but it is not in our apk here is the comparison of google camera photos with open camera but here the question may arise why open camera well open camera takes the photo with native camera hardware so it can take some raw footages also the video recording is so good 
I was using it for to record my YouTube videos. So both Gcam and OpenCam will be the best camera solution for Android by Bills. Now we take some short comparison. As you can see that the photo in the left side is taken from Gcam and the right side is from open camera. The detailing and higher dynamic range is in Gcam is insane. Also while zooming the picture you can find the clearness of the image in Gcam. It's all achieved using Google's best image processing technology. It takes less time while comparing to open camera. Here take a look at low light indoor condition photo taken in both the cameras. This photo taken with flash and this one without the flash. The Gcam defaultly enables the best HDR quality overall the images. When we try to take HDR shot on open camera, it is taking 3 photos and taking a long time. The results also not so good. There are lot of noises on the picture. Speaking of selfie, the Gcam captures some good portrait pictures where the open camera not. You can see the, the marks and darkness in my face. Also the edges are top notch. And this is what about installation comparison video of Google Cam. Hope we got some good camera solution for the device. If you liked it and want to appreciate, please consider subscribing to this channel and comment section is there to tell your opinion about this video. Your each and every like and comment will motivate me to do things a lot better. Thank you for watching. Quote Moto.